what's up guys today we'll be going over my first solar 3.0 build of the season the first character i started off with is titan because i enjoyed solar titan the most of the three so i decided to start off with this character so in this video we've been going over a really broken build that results in infinite abilities that just absolutely destroy everything in the entire room pretty much in just one hit so yeah let's go ahead and jump straight into it so when i first started playing titan i tried to recreate the walking nuke build by using things like sunspots now in addition with roaring flames using the sunshot with the path of the burning step exotic boots and honestly it just didn't feel quite as good as it used to be due to a few nerfs to the sunspots so instead of trying to recreate what we already had i decided to create something new with the new tools we have and it started to work out a lot better for me and i actually started to really enjoy it so what new tool am i talking about it's gonna be the new aspect the new melee ability that they showed off in the trailer which is called the consecration where while sliding activate your charge melee to launch a wave of solar energy damaging and scorching targets in front of you as you leap into the air then while you're airborne if you activate your charge melee again you will then slam into the ground creating a second larger wave of solar energy and if it hits a scorched target they will then ignite so how this works in the game is when you slide as you see your melee icon will change to the aspect and when you press melee while doing that you will then fly up in the air and scorch all the enemies in front of you which scorch just means burn them then if you press melee again while you're airborne you will come crashing down and then ignite them and once again ignite now means explode and one thing that is very cool about this ability is for each of the two parts the uppercut then the slam they only count as half of your melee so if you only need the uppercut you can save the second half of your melee and get it back a little bit quicker so right out of the box this ability is really strong it does crazy amounts of damage and a huge radius and you can clear out entire groups of enemies you know majors ultras whatever it is and the single target damage isn't anything too crazy but it's very good where you'll be able to one hit some mini bosses and things like that especially if you build into it as we will in this video the other aspect I'm using with this build is on be the Soul Invictus, which is the Sunspots. And the way they work now is they got kind of a slight nerf, but more or less work the same way. So any solar ability final blow or killing a scorched target will create the Sunspot. When you walk through it, you will get increased ability recharge rate and your supers will drain more slowly while standing in it. The Sunspots will apply a scorch to targets that walk through it. And finally, walking through a sunspot will apply restoration, which is constant health regen for roughly five seconds. So if you use sunspots before, more or less, they work the same way. Just get a ability final blow or a kill and a scorch enemy will create the sunspot. Walking through it will give you the ability recharge rate and also constant health regen. The one thing that they changed about it is they kind of nerfed the ability regen by a little bit and it no longer gives you any weapon buffs before increase your weapon damage which is now the radiant buff and whenever you had the buff going getting kills with your weapon would create sunspots which no longer is a bane well there's a few ways to get around that with this build i still use the throwing hammer even though we won't be really using it then for nades i use solar or thermite and looking at our fragments the first one will be the ember of eruption which will increase the radius of our ignitions. So pretty similar to previous 3.0 subclasses. They all had something pretty similar to that. Second one will be Ember Torches, which will make it so when we use our power melee and hit a target, we will get the Radiant Buff, which is the weapon buff for Solar. And this one will be, as you see with my sidearm, hitting 4336. Then if we go ahead and get a hit with our power melee, so they throw in Hammer, it will now go to 5920 which is going to be a 25% buff. And I've heard this is actually stacking with a few things, so maybe a fault video on that. I'm not quite sure if that is a bug or not, but it seems to be one of the best buffs in the game. And following up with our final fragment, the Ember of Searing, arguably the most important one, defeating a Scorched target will grant melee energy. So now adding on to our subclass with our mods, pretty straightforward build, Bountiful Wells to double our well sources. And our first way to create elemental wells will be Melee Wellmaker. Then we also have the Explosive Wellmaker, which will work with pretty much everything we're using. And finally, Elemental Ordnance. And when we pick up all those different solar wells, we have Phantom Might for another 25% buff to our weapon damage. So now when we use our Power Melee, we should be able to create four solar wells between Explosive Wellmaker and Melee Wellmaker. 
Same name for our grenade. We should be able to create four because of ordnance and explosive will maker once again. And our sunspots will randomly create two along the way. So now between the increased recharge rate from sunspots, the ember of searing, all of the solar wells, along with I have a melee kickstart on my gloves. And finally on my class item, I also have outreach to get a chunk of our melee back when we use our class ability. Combo all that on top of the Heart of Inmost Light, which will be our exotic of choice, which is just practically use your abilities and they'll empower the other ones, which means a little bit more damage and faster recharge rate. You know, we'll have our melee pretty much constantly, infinitely. So as you see, go ahead and use our charge melee, pick up the wells, and we already almost have it back. But if we go ahead and throw our grenade and use our barricade to empower our melee, now when we use it, we pretty much just get it back instantly. It's an infinite combo. And you can just go around, going up in the sky, falling back down, and just absolutely igniting everything in the room. And yeah, it is not only extremely strong, it's also extremely fun, which is almost more important. It feels like you're doing something you never could do before. It's just something you have to try out. And I'll definitely link the dim loadout for this build in the comments and description. And since we constantly have the Radiant Weapon buff and Phantom Might for well over 50% increase to our solar weapon damage, what you can use is take advantage of something like Sunshot or all those crazy explosions or what you can do is there's a few new weapons with this perk Incandescent which will then act kind of like a dragonfly but scorch targets instead of exploding and I'll probably make a video on this perk and this weapon but that just further plays into this build with all these scorch final blows to create sunspots and get melee energy back. So that's why you definitely want to build into strength to get your melee back faster with tier 4 as you see I pretty much already have the full combo but if you got that even higher it'd be even easier then you can build into discipline then between recovery and resilience because you have restoration with this build more or less all the time i would rather actually have resilience which just got buffed so maybe another video on that down the road and that's the version i like to do for pure ability spam you could also build it into damage so instead of the sunspots you could run roaring flames which is i believe a 72.5 or like a 75 percent buff with times three which will then obviously further increase your melee damage, make it so you can one hit even higher health targets. And you can still use the Heart of Endless Light with that, or you could go for one of the melee gauntlets, for example, the Worm God Crest, or even the Synthoseps. And with this version, you would give up ability spam, you would have your melee less often. It wouldn't necessarily chain into itself like it does with the build I showed off, but you'd get a lot more damage out of it, which could be good for activities where there's a lot of like mini bosses or stuff like that that way you can still one hit them with your ability and yeah that is pretty much it for the ability take the new titan melee ability which is absolutely broken as is and this build allows you to spam it with near 100% uptime sometimes it literally chains into itself you use it the next thing you know you already have it back and before you know it the activity will be over and you'll have over 90% of the fire team kills just spamming your one melee ability and you'll be having the most fun along the way out of the group Anyways, the rest of the video will just be some strike gameplay with the build. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.